Hello, my name is Moritz Sitte. I'm a co-manager for the Bailey Gifford European Growth Trust. The purpose of the European Growth Trust is to own the best growth companies in Europe. We look for exceptional businesses run by outstanding people with a long runway of growth ahead of them. As of September 2021, the forecast next year sales growth for the Trust's holdings was just over 20%, whilst being 6.4% for the index. The ability of companies to grow rapidly and attractive returns on capital is what creates wealth for shareholders in the long run. To reap the rewards of owning these outliers, we must adopt a long-term mindset. This entails owning these companies for years through good and bad times. It requires embracing optimism by asking ourselves what can go right as opposed to what can go wrong. Europe is often regarded as a region beset with problems from low growth to challenging demographics. This top-down view, however, misses the point that Europe is home to some fantastic, ambitious entrepreneurs who are passionate about building great, innovative companies. We believe our new purchases fit that bill. They include Acre Horizons, a Norwegian company building businesses which are driving energy transition and decarbonization. One of the businesses held by Acre Horizons is involved in carbon capture and has been developing its technology since the mid-1990s. We believe Acre Horizons could become a global leader in developing green technologies. HelloFresh has built an impressive, highly complex logistics system to deliver meal kits to consumers around the world. The scale it has achieved is staggering, having delivered over 600 million meal kits in 2020 alone. Another new purchase for the Trust is Dassault System. Over more than 40 years, Dassault has built an enviable reputation amongst its customers as a leading provider of 3D project management software. It started out in serving the aerospace and auto industries and is now trying to achieve similar success with customers in the healthcare sector. Dassault is digitizing this huge industry by introducing software to run clinical trials much faster than in the past. 60% of COVID vaccine trials were run using Dassault's Medidata software platform. We sold our stake in Ublox, which designs positioning and wireless chips. We overestimated the strength of its competitive position and over time lost trust in the management team. We also sold holdings in Carl Zeiss Meditech, Inditex, Novozymes and Remy Quantro. These remain terrific businesses, but their growth opportunity is no longer attractive enough to justify holding on to them. We invested in two private companies during this last fiscal year, Sender and Flix Mobility. Sender is a digital road freight logistics provider. Even today, freight forwarding is done using post-it notes, Excel spreadsheets and fax machines. Sender is changing that. It has built a software platform connecting shippers like Coca-Cola and Unilever with truck carriers in a way that wasn't possible before. Flix Mobility's tech platform connects bus and train operators with consumers. This entails managing complex tasks such as route planning. The result is a better, more convenient service for consumers and higher capacity utilization for mobility operators. The ability to build relationships with exciting companies early on is incredibly valuable. Our reputation as a supportive, long-term investor results in preferential access to the most exciting companies in this space. The portfolio weighting in unlisted investments as of the company's year-end stood at 4.5%. We're currently able to invest up to 10% of the trust's total assets in unlisted investments. The board's proposal to the shareholders at this AGM to permit us to invest up to 20% in this area is a reflection of the terrific opportunity set we're able to access in the unlisted space. 
According to this year's State of European Tech report, which we co-sponsored, over $100 billion were invested in European startups in 2021 alone. Almost 100 new unicorns were created in Europe over the same time frame. The European tech ecosystem is developing at an increasing pace, allowing us to invest more in private companies, enables us to participate in this trend. Rather than trying to predict what will happen, it's often better for us to prepare and focus what is within our control. Our foremost task is to try and improve as investors and work hard to identify the most promising growth companies in Europe. We believe that owning a selection of such companies puts us in a fantastic position to achieve excellent results over the long run. Despite all the uncertainty we're facing in the world today, we remain incredibly excited about investing in European outliers on the trust's behalf.